Yeah, well, uh, my name's Ian Frazier. I'm the lead designer at BioWare Montreal, working on the next Mass Effect. Uh, that's actually really tricky. So, from my perspective, the game actually sold very well, because it was a new IP, it was kind of limited in that, in that sense. The tricky thing is that what well means varies depending on how much money you threw into mm -hmm. the game. And the history of that game, I'm not sure how much you've read, but it's rocky to say the least. We were big, huge games. The company that made it was owned by THQ. We invested in a lot of the core technology at that time. THQ decided, decided to kind of divest itself of our studio. We got picked up by a different studio. It set us back to square one in terms of IP and art direction. Uh, worked on that for quite a while finally came out. Meanwhile, we were attached to 38 Studios, another company that was building an MMO. MMOs, as you might expect, are really, really, really expensive. So what we might consider success in terms of sales ended up being much higher than what was realistic for a game of that nature. Oh, that's a good question. It's a lot of tricky ones. I mean, there's some things that stick with me, um, like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I saved up uh, lawn mowing money for that. So I still can't smell fresh cut grass without thinking about Zelda. So, you know, you have stuff like that. In terms of inspiration, I think the Ultima series. Something about the way that they crafted a living, breathing world in some of the later games in that series, and the way that they made it uh, interesting and tied to real life with their philosophy of the eight virtues, the way all that kind of tied together, really was exciting to me, and I, I've always wanted to make a game that has that kind of richness, that kind of depth. Recent games, well, uh, so I started working at Bioware because I'm a huge Bioware fanboy, so pretty much anything that Bioware <laughs> does would, would go on that list. Uh, apart from that, I've really enjoyed the uh, the Arkham, the Batman games, uh, all three of them actually, I'm about halfway through the new one now. I love the original Deus Ex, and I love Deus Ex Human Revolution for just a couple years ago. Um, I don't know, I like a lot of stuff. I love the Uncharted series, I've been, I really enjoyed also from Naughty Dog, uh, The Last of Us. Um, FTL for an indie hit, I yeah. love FTL so much, so you know, all over the place. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> well, long term, I think yeah. it will be virtual reality. The question is whether or not we hit our stride with that this generation. You know, I've seen the Oculus Rift, it's very cool, there's a lot of potential there. There are a lot of issues as well still though, so we need to see over the next couple of years, the next five years, how much can we work out the kinks and what amazing things can we do to, to push forward immersion with it. My expectation is that whether it's a year from now or 10 years from now, we're going to get to a point where we have those helmets in conjunction with motion capture and can create a really, really immersive experience. Oh, that is tricky. Trying to define fun is always hard. So like, certain, is it important? Yes, it's always important to make a fun game. But what that means is so nebulous that I usually don't consider it a core design pillar just because it's hard to define.